Would having a history of brain injury or post-concussion syndrome put an individual in a high-risk category for COVID, or do we not necessarily know that yet? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, I don't think we really know that, but what we do know is that if you have had um, a brain injury, uh, like a concussion, some people are going to have some structural injury from that that is not even uh, detectable performance-wise, but their reserve of brain tissue in those areas will have been diminished. So if they were to have another injury superimposed on it in the same injury, like the hypercoagulability that we believe is happening with some people with COVID that explains the rash in the, and the lesions in the uh, toes that are causing amputations and uh, causing some strokes, we think. Um, yes, it could be added to it. As, as of today, I'm not aware that post-concussion syndrome is quote unquote a high risk, but I, I would put it in that group to be on the conservative side.